hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we're taking a look at Microsoft Sentinel, also known as Azure Sentinel. So Microsoft Sentinel is a scalable cloud native security information and event management, so SIEM, and security orchestration automation and response solution, SOAR. Microsoft Sentinel delivers intelligent security analytics and threat intelligence across the enterprise, providing a single solution for alert and attack detection, threat visibility, proactive hunting, and threat response. So here's a big wheel that Microsoft Sentinel likes to use to describe it. And what's cool about this offering is it's both a SIEM and a SOAR, so you don't have to have two separate services, starting off with Collect. So collect data at cloud scale across all users, devices, applications, and infrastructure, both on-premise and in multiple clouds. Detect previously undetected threats and minimize false positives using Microsoft's analytics and unparalleled threat intelligence. Investigate threats with artificial intelligence and hunt for suspicious activities at scale, tapping into years of cybersecurity work at Microsoft. Respond to incidents rapidly with built-in orchestration and automation of common tasks. Let's take a look at what Microsoft Sentinel can ingest from other dataset sources. So we have a number of connectors here, such as Microsoft 365 Defender, Microsoft 365 sources, including Office 365, Azure AD, Microsoft Defender for Identity, and Microsoft Defender for Cloud Apps. You can also use common event formats such as Syslog, REST API, Windows Event Logs, Common Event Format, and Trusted Automated Exchange of Indicator Information, also known as TAXII. So let's take a look at workbooks. And so this is a feature of Azure Monitor, but Microsoft Sentinel allows you to create workbooks really easily. After you connected your data sources to Microsoft Sentinel, you can monitor the data using the Microsoft Sentinel integration with Azure Monitor workbooks. Workbooks provide a flexible canvas for data analysis and the creation of rich visual reports. They allow you to tap into multiple data sources and combine them into unified interactive experiences. It tells a story about the performance and availability about your applications and services is. So here's a graph showing the performance analysis, and here's another one showing the application failure analysis. But the idea is that these are kind of like living documents where you can visualize and monitor specific metrics and other things about your applications and services. Microsoft Sentinel allows you to create custom workbooks across your data and also comes with built-in workbook templates to allow you to quickly gain insights across your data as soon as you connect a data source. A couple more points here on workbooks is that they are intended for SOC engineers and analysts of all tiers to visualize data data. SOC stands for Security Operations Center, if you didn't know. While workbooks are best used for high-level views of Microsoft Sentinel data and require no coding knowledge, you cannot integrate workbooks with external data. Now, let's look at the core features of Microsoft Sentinel, starting with analytics. So, Microsoft Sentinel uses analytics to correlate alerts into incidents. So, over here, we can see that we have listed them in incidents or groups of related alerts that together create an actionable possible threat that you can investigate and resolve. Microsoft Sentinel also also provides machine learning rules to map your network behavior and then look for anomalies across your resources. Then there's automation and orchestration. So with Sentinel, you have solutions that provide a highly extensible architecture that enables scalable automation as new technologies and threats emerge. Sentinel is built on the foundation of Azure Logic Apps, so it's a great way of not having to use any code, but you can chain things over different services and they have over 200 connectors for services such as Azure Functions. The connectors allow you to apply any custom logic and code service now. Now, Jira, Zendesk, HTTP requests, Microsoft Teams, Slack, Windows Defender at TP, and Defender for Cloud Apps. So there's a lot to do there. For investigations, the investigation tools help you to understand the scope and find the root cause of a potential security threat. You can choose an entity on the interactive graph to ask interesting questions for a specific entity and drill down into that entity and its connections to get to the root cause of the threat. Moving on to hunting, so Microsoft Sentinel's powerful hunting search and query tools is based on the MITRE framework, which is a curated knowledge base that tracks cyber adversary tactics and techniques. So this enables you to proactively hunt for security threats across your organization's data sources before an alert is triggered. After you discover which hunting query provides high value insights into possible attacks, you can also create custom detection rules based on your query and surface those insights as alerts to your security incident responders. While hunting, you can create bookmarks for interesting events, enabling you to return to them later, share them with others, and group them with other correlating events to create a compelling incident for investigation. And onto our final section, 
section, we'll go over the pricing models of Microsoft Sentinel. So the first type is capacity reservations where you are billed a fixed fee based on the selected tier, enabling a predictable total cost for Microsoft Sentinel. And we have pay as you go. So you are billed per gigabyte for the volume of data ingested for analysis in Microsoft Sentinel and stored in the Azure Monitor Log Analytics workspace. So that's Microsoft Sentinel. 